In this video, we present our work, Mamode, Multi-Object Tracking with Memory. Online multi-object tracking takes a streaming video as input to localize the targeted objects by following their trajectories over time. Most of the previous studies in MOT relate on common filters to model motion. While effective, there are still common nonlinear non Gaussian movements and interactions between objects that cannot be modeled optimally by common filters. To overcome these shortcomings, re-identification is usually required to achieve top performance, but this increases the complexity in both computation and optimization. These deficiencies motivate us to develop Mamote. We propose to leverage a large spatial temporal memory to achieve robust object association across time for the MOT task. Our large spatial temporal memory acts as an optimal filter that internally summarizes history information to infer a new frame's tracking result. Here we show the overall workflow of Mamote. It is a transformer-based architecture. Each object is represented as a query whose embedding is updated at every time step by an encoding-decoding process. Mamote consists of three main components. Number one, a frame-level hypothesis generation module that produces region proposals for the current video frame. Number two, a track-level memory encoding module that aggregates track embeddings. And number three, a memory decoding module that associates the new detections with tracked objects. Under this framework, MOMO performs object detection and association under a common framework in an online manner. We highlight that the key design of MOMO is to build a large spatial temporal memory that stores the past observations. In memory decoding, the short-term memory aggregation combines the frame feature with the previous feature to smooth the results and reduce noise. In addition to this, supportive features can be extracted from a long history to reacquire tracks after long periods of occlusion. Finally, an attention-based fusion module exchanges and aggregates the information from both branch to update the track embeddings. The proposed method achieves state-of-the-art performance on MOT17 compared to other transformer-based methods and methods without extra post-processing. On crowded scenarios, MOT20, which is challenging with more severe occlusions, Mamot achieves comparable performance with the state-of-the-art methods. We highlight that MOMO achieves a 33% reduction in ID switch errors, a key metric for many real-world tracking applications. This shows the advantages of learning association solver when dealing with occlusion. Here is a demo. Thank you for your attention. We will see you at poster session 2.2 with more details.